all the workers. Amen. Amen. The instrumentalist, the musician, you're wonderful. You're, you minister wonderful, the queen. Amen. And the children department, Abba, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We enjoyed your blessing yesterday. Amen. Amen. Good. Now, <laughs> it seems good to have the physical anointing too. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, 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 feel, I want to share something with you that statistically we have to know what is happening. Amen. Now I'm here to announce to you, please pay attention. Now I'm here to announce to you that Islamic have an agenda for 2020. Amen. The agenda is that they want to populate the whole entire world and take dominion over every religion, especially Christianity. They see Christianity to be what? Uh, to, to be what? Try to them. Amen. And so they have an agenda. And the agenda is through what? Propagation, uh, propagation through bed. Amen. And also they are doing it through another way, through what? Violence. And they are taking control. If you render, see what is happening in part of Nigeria. Governmental setup. Things are positioning and they are doing things small gradually. They have an agenda. But I'm here to let the church of God know something today. This is a message to the world. Hallelujah. Amen. The world have to come. The Christian have to come to a place to stop fighting themselves. Mm. Amen. Christian have to stop to uh, what, uh, to do. This is the time for the body of Christ to come together. Hallelujah. There was a man who was called Archimedes. Archimedes was a he was a great mathematician. During his time, the king was given a gold and the king wanted to know the weight of the gold. He doesn't know the weight of gold. He wanted only want to know what is the weight of this gold. So he told the mathematician that how can I know the weight? The mathematician he worked everything, but he couldn't find the formula or the solution. But what happened was this: one time he went to his bathroom, but when he went to his bathroom, he filled the what his uh, his uh, basin, the one that we bath in. He filled it with water. Hallelujah. Yes. And so let's take it for example. Uh, this is the basin. Okay? So he filled the basin like this. He filled it with what? Water. Please, I don't want to get scared. Amen. I want you to understand some principle. Amen. Achimedes filled. This is the basin. So Achimedes what? Fill the what? He filled the basin to the brim. Okay. Now when he filled the basin, uh, the water to the brim, let's say this is Achimedes. And so the moment he entered, okay, you see that some of the water came out, okay, but when he sat and he saw that some of the water came out, this man was about to know, naked, so he, he rise up from the water basin, he started running out saying that, Eureka, 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 I have found it, I have found it, he was naked, hallelujah, what am I saying, because Achimedes came to know that, for me to know the way, I can also feel a brain and so, if I fill the basin to the brim and I put the weight, I put the, the gold in that thing, the uptrust is equal to the volume that is his place. So, Achimedes principle said that he said, when a body is partially, this is a body, is partially immense in a fluid, it experiences an uptrust which is equal to the volume that is what is displayed. Please don't get scared. Amen. In other words, if you fill the brim, if you fill that uh, basin to the full, the moment you enter, you see that the water will fall. Now, the water that falls is your weight. Amen. Are you getting me? So if you're able to gather all that water, it's the weight, it's your weight that have come out. So he came out with a principle that says that when a body is partially immersed in a fluid, it experiences what an uptrust. And the uptrust, the water that have come, is equal to the volume. Amen. So that is how you can know a matter of a weight. This is only for um, a weight of a word to know a solution of a matter. Amen. Are you getting me? I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a point. I want you to get a point. Amen. Now, Achimedes, after he found his solution, he was he forget himself and he was naked, running out that I have I say, Eureka, 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 I have found it. I'm here to tell you that Achimedes only find only one solution of a matter. He ran telling the whole world that I have found it. Hallelujah. Only a solution of matter. But you have come to a place to know Jesus Christ, which could have the word, the answer to every problem, and you are still sitting down. Are you getting you didn't get a revelation? Are you still sitting down? I can make this run with nakedness, telling the whole world that I have found it. But you have found Jesus who have answered to the, uh, the problem of what? Wait, you have a, a problem with what? Uh, uh, dynamics, you have a uh, solution to what? Uh, economics. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. He said, when the body is partially immense, but he himself, whenever he, 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 he walks on the water. Hallelujah. The water couldn't measure him. Hallelujah. He walks on the water. Amen. Amen. This is the God that we serve. He has answered to everything in this world. And we have found him. What are you doing about him? What are you doing about it? Brother, if I have a message to give to you, if I have something to share with you, I wouldn't share anything but to share this thing with you. Something that the Lord spoke to me 26 years ago is make, he make heaven a great joy. This is my message to you this morning. Let us say, make heaven a great joy. Hallelujah. I'd like evangelists to help me to read from the book of Luke chapter 15. You, uh, so it's going to be uh, verse 7. But quickly, I want to run through me from uh, verse 1 to 7. Amen. We want to take something from there. Praise God. Luke chapter 15. The verse 1 to 7. To 7. Prince and sinners for to hear him. <laughs> so, okay, what I, for time's sake, let's jump to 7. So I'll give them the background of the scripture. The 7. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven. Over one sinner that repented, more than over 99 just persons which need no repentance. Okay, the next scripture is going to be from John chapter 4, verse 29. Please, can you read the scriptures for me? Because I will be jumping. Amen. John chapter 4, verse 29. John 4, 29. Come, see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Amen. Amen. The next one is going to be Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Please write the scriptures when you go, you go through. Amen. Paul says that the church of Berlin, they were noble people. Whatever Paul says, they write it and go and check it. Whether he's saying the truth. Amen. Mark 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. Amen. And the next one is going to be 2 Peter 3.9. 2 Peter 3.9. Verse 9. Amen. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some may come to slackness. But is long suffering to us world. Not willing that any should perish. But that all should come. Repentance. Amen. The Amen. last one is going to be First Corinthians chapter 15, 1 to 3. Hallelujah. You write it down. When you go, go and read it. The, last, the next one is not going to read it, but you write it down. First Thessalonica chapter 2, 19 to 20. First Thessalonica, Thessalonica 2, 19 to 20. Amen. And First Corinthians chapter 15, 1 to 3. That would be our last scripture reading. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you. Which also ye have received, for ye stand. But which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I deliver unto you first of all that which also I received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Amen. 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 God bless you. Can we close our eyes again? Father, cause us to hold wondrous things out of your way. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to speak to you about make heaven a great joy. About 26 years ago, I was working and the Lord dropped this thing in my spirit. I never understood it. Amen. He said, make heaven a great joy. I said, Lord, what are you saying? Amen. And so, I was so much confused. I was thinking about it. How can I make heaven a great joy? Church. The Lord have given a mandate to this church. Last week, most of you went to evangelism. And please, if you never get yourself involved, that means you want the Islamics to take control. If you are on God's side, let it be your assignment. Evangelism is not meant for evangelists alone. Evan evangelism is meant for every child of God. Amen. If you are a child of God, God has commanded you to go to the way. According to Matthew chapter 28 and 19. Go to the way and go and make disciples unto Christ. Hallelujah. Now make heaven a great joy. How 
can I make heaven a great joy? If I can make people around me happy, I can make them have a great joy. But how can I make heaven a great joy? Amen. Hallelujah. The scripture that we read from Luke chapter 15, verse 7, was that when Jesus Christ was ministering to people, talking to the people, the Pharisees who see from far, and the Sadducees who see with sadness. Bible declares that the Sadducees and the Pharisees and the Sanhedrin, they were gathering together and said, look at this man. He's sitting with the sinners, and he's talking with sinners. And Jesus Christ gave them a parable. And he said, that, look, who on this earth, who is sick, that never have a physician. That never need a physician. Or who, or who is a shepherd who will lose uh, one of his sheep who have a hundred shepherd? Will he not leave the ninety-nine there and go and look for that one? And when he found it, he will come rejoicing with the friends that have found it, like uh, Achimedes. And so Jesus Christ is opening our eyes to see something. He said, "Likewise, so it is." That when we go out and you talk to somebody and the person repent of his sin, what happens is that immediately some angel who have sat in his chair for a long time, the moment you do that, all the angels they rise up and they begin to rejoice and some begin to dance. Hallelujah. Because they see that that soul is not going to hell, but he's coming to the sight of God. Hallelujah. So the only way with me and you can make heaven a great joy is that let us go out and the moment you go out, heaven will rejoice. Amen. Amen. When somebody hear the word of God and the person repent of his sin, heaven will rejoice. Hallelujah. So let me and you make heaven a great joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your brother, make heaven a great joy. Put a hand on the chest. I will make heaven a great joy. Hallelujah. So Bible declares that make heaven a great joy. Let heaven rejoice that you have come. Please, I am here to announce to everybody that when you die, God is going to require the blood of people around you that you were not able to tell them about Jesus Christ. I am here to tell you that my life was a mess up. Amen. My, I thought that right, right now I could have died because the people that are moving us, some of them are dead. Hallelujah. Because I was crazy for the devil. My life was a mess up. If you come to me, you talk to me about the gospel, I will slap you. I don't want to hear anything about the gospel. But glory be to the Lord. It came to a place that I wanted to commit suicide and die and leave this world. But God in his infinite life, he showed mercy to me. Hallelujah. I, I was blind. I could never see smoking weed. I mean, I was doing karate, doing all those crazy stuff. Hallelujah. I mean, stealing my mommy's clothes, going to this school and going booze. A whole lot of things. I was doing crazy stuff. But glory be to God. Jesus, who died and he rose, he gave me victory. I got the victory. I am sad heaven a living God. His name is Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ come. He died for a wretched man like me. Who that have no hope. Who that are hopeless and I was meant to go to hell.
church. After he came to teach his disciples, he says in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, he said, go out unto the world. Talk to them about Jesus Christ. He also said in Mark chapter 16, that go out and go and make disciples for me. This is a commandment. And if you love God, what do you do? If you love God, what do you do? You obey his commandment. And so if we are not going out, that means we are disobedient children. Hallelujah. There's a blessing when you go out. There's a blessing when you go out. And when you go out and talk, God will pull you out. I want to tell you one of the greatest things I found about witness in his heart. Anytime I go to witness, sometimes I'll be talking to the person. And by the thing that I'm going through, I realize that after talking to them, the Lord will use that testimony to encourage me right now. Amen. Hallelujah. So my dear brother, we can sit down. It is a time for us. Do you know why God brought you to Italy? Do you think that you're coming here for money? But the Lord wants that through you, somebody can be saved. If you can't say something, if in your action, they have to know that you are Christian. Your lifestyle has to be a Christian. Your life, let your life be a living epistle written by Christ. Jesus. Paul said that at, at, at the time, at the, in the city of Antioch, the people people saw them and they, you know how Christian came? Christian came, it was not the name that God gave them. It was the word. He said their life is what Christ like. Hallelujah. They find something that was identical in Christ. And so the word started coming into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. My dear brother, God, I've called us. Don't think that I've never been to school. Don't think that I am not educated. Don't think that for me, I don't know how to talk. But if you go, God will help you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you go, God will help you. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to know something about God. First Peter 2, he said that it is good. It is what? One of the greatest desire. That is the focus. That is the heart of God. That Nobody on this earth should perish, but all should come to the knowledge of the saving knowledge of Christ. Hallelujah. So it is God's desire. It is God's mind. It is God's mandate. It's God's purpose on earth that we go out and go and talk to people about Jesus Christ. Amen. If I come here telling you anything, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. But this is the time for you to, to declare unto you the gospel. Amen. Amen. Apostle Paul declared, he said, I declare unto you the gospel. What is the gospel? The gospel is nothing but the dead of Christ, the burial of Christ, the resurrection of Christ. When we go out, what are we carrying? We are carrying the gospel. What are you talking about? You are talking about the dead, that is the repentance of God. What are you talking about? You are talking about the burial of Christ. What is that? That is the baptism in the name of Jesus. What are you talking about? You are talking about the resurrection. That is the what? The fire, the, the fire baptism. You are talking about the Holy Ghost. Amen. So that is what we are carrying. Paul said that, woe on me if I don't preach the word of God. Because necessity has been laid on me. God has laid necessity upon us. It is our duty. If we don't preach the word of God, woe is on us. Hallelujah. Because Islam is doing something, what are you doing? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If somebody will run only for a solution of a matter, what are you doing with the gospel? Hallelujah. This is the time. I'm here to encourage you. Don't sit down. Our children, children are going to suffer. Amen. They are going to suffer. But if we are going to rise up and sit down and cry and spread the gospel, I want to tell you that they have a bright future. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that the world is in crisis. Why? Because there's no Christ. Amen. If there's no Christ, it's going to be crisis. Amen. The world alone, the world have lost everything. Amen. Because they have lost the grace of God. And because they have lost the grace today, I was seeing grasses all over. Amen. And if you lose the grace of God, it's going to be grass. Amen. It's going to be filthy around us. So, brethren, we need to go out. God is commanding us to move. God is commanding us to go and talk to somebody. Don't go. You don't go out. When people bring people out, then you sack them from the church. Hey, what is that? You insult them and you sack them from the church. Go out and go and bring somebody. Let them stay. Amen. That is where they can be blessed and their future can be brighter. And Bible says that David said, I was a young man, but I'm old. I've never seen a righteous seed begging for bread. I'm here to let you know that if you go out and go and witness, God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. God will bless you. There is blessing in evangelism. There is blessing in evangelism. According to first Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 19. I'm here to let you know that our daddy always used to say, he said that there are hotels in heaven. How you 
you handle yourself here will determine the hotel you go in heaven. <laughs> Amen. It's good to go to heaven. But where can, what hotel are you going? Are you going to first class hotel or you are going to second class? So Bible says that there are crowns in heaven. Amen. There are crowns. We call some the, the, the crown of winning, so we call it the crown of rejoicing. Amen. You are rejoicing for the appearing of his coming. So when you go out and witness, you go out, God have a crown for you. And there's a star. And there's also a, a, a word. A crown for us when we endure temptation. Hallelujah. Also, there's a crown for us when we are faithful unto the Lord. So there are crowns for us when we go to heaven. So my dear brother, Bible said that anyone that wins a soul is a what? So if you don't win a soul, you are what? So are you where are you now? <laughs> the question, where are you now? If, I want to tell you, if even you are unwise, you can become wise. The only way you can become wise is what? We so. So if you are not winning so, then do what? Don't be in the classroom of what? Unwise people. Amen. You see, we are living in a time, Bible said that there was ten virgins. Hallelujah. But ten, five of them were what? Foolish people. And five of them were what? Wise people. The five who were wise thought that as we are going, if we tarry, if we tarry, hallelujah, and the, 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 the husband doesn't come, and uh, we are waiting, we are going to lose our, 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 our light, our light will dim, and so let us take extra oil, so that when our light is dimming, we can put in more fuel, they had a plan, they had an agenda, don't serve God anyhow, but the foolish people say, oh let us go, we are going, we are going, without thinking of taking extra oil, hallelujah, so I'm here to tell you, are you one of the foolish, because the first this is the church. It's talking about the church. We have half of the people who are foolish and half of the people who are worldwide. So if you take me more oil, you become what? A wise person. You can't be in the classroom of what? I'm here to tell you that my, he said, Micah said that we have the, something called the spirit of resiliency. He said, my enemies, don't rejoice over me. Oh. If I fall, I'll do what? <laughs> so if you are down in the, in the area of unwiseness, then what? Rise up again. My enemies, Rejoice over me, oh. If I fall, I will what? rise up again, oh. Because the Lord will be the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. So, my dear brother, church, let us go on evangelism. Amen. Amen. The Lord, I, I came here not to preach, but I came here to deliver a message of God unto you. Amen. Amen. You are on the right track. Pastor, God bless you for the mandate. You are on the right track. But I want to tell you that if you, you are in the classroom of unwise, be wise. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet. This is a message the Lord gave me Hallelujah. to the church. Amen. Whether you clap or you don't clap, I love the preaching. Amen. What he said, I love this I love them. I love to give the LBC of the word. Hallelujah. I am wonderful. I love the word of God. Amen. I don't need your clapping to go on. I'm saying what the Lord has told me to tell you. Hallelujah. Be wise. Be wise. Oh, be wise. Church, I'm telling you, let us weep for our children. Let us see the future, how the future holds. About 20 years now, what is going to happen to Christianity? Look at what is happening in Nigeria. Look at what is happening in other parts of the world. Hallelujah. You will go to the church and they set fire. They set the church on fire. I, I remember, is it India in one of the places? A pastor who preached, they, they naked the pastor and they naked the wife. For what thing have they done? You see, so if the church will never rise up, this thing will give the ground for the enemy to do a lot of things to the church. To, do, to have work. You see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Bible said that, and Herod killed one of the apostles. Because the church was silent, he went on to take Peter. But when the church came back to themselves, and they began to cry, Bible said that God sent an angel. God sent what? An angel into what? Into the prison there and brought. So anytime we cry, God sent an angel. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to cry in your heart. Why don't you lift up your hands? Hallelujah. The woman said that, Oh, give me that water that you are talking about. Now, I will never come here again to draw water. I need that water. My dear brother, you need that water. Amen. You need that water. The Lord, I need this water. That I will never come here and fetch water again. But Lord, out of my belly, let you flow the fountains of living water. Hallelujah. Begin to lift up your hands. Talk to the Lord. The Lord, fill me with this water. I need this water again. The water to evangelize. The water to have the burden for the
the lost. Begin to talk to the Lord. Hallelujah. The water, the water, the water, the water. My God, the water, the water, water. Fill this cup, Lord. Fill this cup, fill this cup, fill this cup. Let it flow. Begin to talk to the Lord. Pray. Talk to the Lord in the name of Jesus. Maturabi kabo na basakata na baba. Yeka na basakata na baba. Yeka na bakura na baba. Rina na 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 basakata. Romena na 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 na. Help me to get to the God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Makabo ya baba sekato na baba. Fila na kabo God. Fila na kabo God. Fila na kabo God. Fila na kabo God. Mighty God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let us pop the God. Let us. Let the seal of the Lord consume us. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, go. Let the seal of the Lord, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, the seal of the Lord. spirit that as you lift up your hands if you never you, 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 you refuse to go to work on Sunday ask the Lord to forgive you because you didn't know but now you know amen ask the Lord to forgive you that Lord please give me that burden hallelujah touch my life and give me that burden that I will have that burden to reach out for the Lord so begin to talk to the Lord hallelujah begin to talk to the Lord. open up your mouth and begin to talk to the Lord Makabo Rabbi Allah Rabbi Father we come to you God that Lord we were not able to go and talk to people about you, God. Father, forgive us, O God. Cleanse us, O God, Lord. Wash us with your precious blood. But Lord, we are ready, O God. Masi and Dora Baba. So Glory, hallelujah. We want to thank you, Lord. We want to bless your name, Lord. We want to give you all the glory. Hallelujah. I feel revival in the house. I feel revival in the house. Pastor, I'm feeling revival in the house. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Hmm. 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 Ay, 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 ay. Feel us, oh God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, as you lift up your hands, this will be your prayer. Amen. Your prayer is that, Lord, make me a sanctuary for your glory. Prepare me to be a sanctuary. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. That I can also go out and tell people about your grace. I can also testify about people about my life. Let me witness, let my lifestyle witness to somebody. Make me a vessel. Can you sing that song? Amen. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. Let that be your cry. Let that be your prayer. Oh my God. church all right or you came here today and you know that you have never accepted the Lord as your personal Savior I'm here to let you know Hebrews 9 27 he said it is appointed unto one man to die after that judgment that is inevitable small boy can die big man can die if you die tomorrow Bible says it is appointed unto man hallelujah he is appointed 
waited until man wants to die after that judgment, God is going to judge you. If you are here like that, even even as every eyes is closed, and you want to accept the Lord as your personal savior, you know you are not saved, just even one. Please lift up your hands. I want to pray with you. Amen. If you want to accept the Lord as your don't be ashamed of anybody. Because if you die, you are the only one who is going to appear before that judgment room. I'm telling you something. I'm washing my hand from your blood. Hallelujah. If you are here, you know that you have never come. Oh, God bless you. If you know you have not, I was I wanted to tell you to lift up your hand. Please, you run here. Hallelujah. Run for your life. Hallelujah. Run. Bible says some we have to snatch that from fire. Hallelujah. Please. Please let me tell you something. Listen, I'm telling you serious sin. Maybe today will be the last time of seeing me. Amen. Hallelujah. This will be the last time of seeing me and you. Because I want that. Listen, if you die, I wash my hand from you. Amen. The, the Lord will tell you that. He said, if you hear the word of God, harden not to the word. Harden not to the word of God. God is calling you. know you are not saved. Why are you still standing there? He said, if you are ashamed of me, I will also be ashamed of you. I will also be what? Ashamed of you. So don't stand there and run. Let everybody see you. Hallelujah. I remember I was a small crowd that was crazy. Hallelujah. But I, exactly when I was going to church, when I was there, somebody invited me to the church, I was going with my talisman on me. Amen. And when I when the man of God was preaching, it's like somebody has told me about myself. He was telling everything about me. So when I finished, I removed the talisman, I threw the talisman away. Hallelujah. So please, if you are here, you know you have never accepted the Lord. Don't be ashamed, no. Please quickly come. I'm not begging you. Quickly come before I pray with you. Because if I pray with this lady, I'll finish. Hallelujah. Even as every ass is closed, you run. I'm not going to tell you to lift up your hand. It has to be a rough thing. Hallelujah. You took a bold decision to come. Amen. You are coming to church. You are doing everything all but you are not safe a bit. Hallelujah. Quickly come. Amen. The Lord is calling you. I pray that war that is dividing you from not coming. In the name of Jesus, and I snatch your soul from hell. In the name of Jesus, I break every hell chain over your life. Let me begin to pray. I break chain. People want to come, but something is holding them. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Clap your hands and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are breaking chains. Every chain, every invisible chain is broken. You are set free today. Come. Now forget about it and come. I want to pray with it. I, I, I want to please quickly come. Come. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is calling you. The Lord is inviting you. He said, My daughter, come. Hallelujah. Now, as we close our eyes, you say this word after me. Amen. Please, if you want to come still, I want to give you a chance. I want to count to five and I'll finish. One, two, three. Four, five. I have made heaven a great joy. Amen. Amen. So you say this thing after me. You say, Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for your word. I have seen my shortcoming. Father Lord, I'm a sinner. Forgive me of all my sin. Wash me with your precious blood. Father Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart. Come and be my Lord. Be my Savior. Lord Jesus, I commit my spirit, my soul, my body into your hand. You are my Lord and my Savior. Your word says, with a mouth, we repent. With a mouth, confession is made unto righteousness. Confession is made unto salvation. And with our heart, we believe unto righteousness. I want to thank you for saving my life. In the name of Jesus. Now talk to Jesus yourself. After that, I want to pray with you. Hallelujah. Please, ushers, you take note of them. Write their names. Hallelujah. Father, I want to thank you, God. Bless your name, oh God, for allowing me to come here to share your word with your people. These are the souls that have come to lift up their hands unto you. I pray, oh God, that Lord, you will bind them in the kingdom. They will stay and their fruit will be seen. They will do greater things in the kingdom. Their every gifting and calling of the Lord over their life will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, I seal them in the plan. They will find something to do in... What's your name? Eh? Man, forget something to do in the house, okay? Get something to do in the house because your future is right. One day you will tell, you tell me that, Pastor, I was the one who came to the front and you told me to find something to do because God 
I'm telling you, if a man of God, listen to me, God is going to use you mightily beyond your understanding. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Get yourself find something to do. Let's have hands again. Father Lord, I pray. I want to thank you, Lord. That Lord, He will remain and you bear fruit. I want to thank you. If it's because of Him that I came to Torino, I appreciate that. In the name of Jesus. We give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. You write your name and give it to us, okay? Yeah? Yeah, write your name and give it to me. I'll give it to you. The pastor should have give it to me. Okay? God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. My brother, come and give me five. Heaven, I rejoice because of you. Amen. Amen. Now, please, you are here. Amen. You want to, you feel like, pastor, what you have said, I'm taught. I want to go out seriously. Mm. With all seriousness. But Lord, I need a touch in my life. So that I can do the same. This one, you need to run. I am not calling you. You need to run and come to the altar. Because altar is a place that will bring an end to a matter. Altar is a place that is a connection to heaven. Altar is when you come that God begins to do a new thing in your life. Amen. Please, if you are there like that, come. Mama, God bless you. You didn't get the revelation. Only a matter. Somebody was naked and running. And you have got every solution. And you are still sitting down there. Look at our mummies. Hallelujah. Nothing is touching you. You don't feel like, mm, let me go out and go and talk to people about Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Our oh, Lord Jesus. We need a touch of God. The church needs a touch. The Lord, deliver us from our slumbering. Deliver us, Father, from our sleeping. Bring an awakening to the body of Christ. After that, we are going to pray for the church of God. There should be an awakening in the church. Because we can't sit down. We can't sit down. We can't sit down. Hallelujah. We can't sit down. We can't sit down. This is the time. This is the moment. This is the season. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Our beloved brother that came with our brother. That's it. He goes to Calvary. What is your name? Where are you? You came? Good. I would like to be talking to you, okay? Your life is important to the Lord, okay? Yeah, ask your, that your friend is very important to you. So as your life is very important to the Lord, I would like to talk to you after service. Amen. Good. Hallelujah. Please, we are going to stretch for the hand. If you are not coming, stretch for your hand. Pray for them. Amen. We are going to pray that a mantle of evangelism will come over your life. An anointing and a grace from God, a divine empowerment will come over your life. That you begin to witness. If you don't witness a day, you feel like a criminal. Hallelujah. Pray that that anointing of God come over you. Hallelujah. An ocean to evangelize. An ocean to spread the gospel. Oh, begin to lift up your hands and begin to pray. Father, we are praying for this one to God that have come out to this place of God. Father, Lord, that you want to take the task ahead of God. We are praying to God for divine empowerment. We pray for divine empowerment. Let divinely empower them, God. They will go out and witness about Christ. They will go out and tell people about Jesus. They will go out and tell people about the Savior. Father, Lord, empower them. Father, Lord, strengthen them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Can you lift up your hand? Father, Lord, even as you have come for it, and to take this task Father, as they lift up their hands unto you let that mantle to evangelize let it come upon them Father empower them Father fill them with your glory now in the name of Jesus fill them Lord with your glory now in the name of Jesus fill them with your glory now in the name of Jesus now in the name of Jesus now now in the name of Jesus 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 Like a bag from the hand of the fowler. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. The soul of the state. I have all seen that on my Kabosha. Father, we want to thank you, God. My God, we bless your name, God. I see somebody. I see as you are standing there. There's a, there's a, a code. The Lord is wearing all of you a coat. I see a coat. The Lord is wearing you a coat. A coat to evangelize. An anointing to evangelize. When you go, don't think about 
what you are going to say. When you stand there, the Lord will put a word in your mouth. Hallelujah. The Lord will empower you. The Lord will enhance you in the name of Jesus. New oil is coming from the throne of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, lift up your hands. Let the fresh bounce it up and, 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 and the refreshing of the Lord, the time of refreshing, let it come. Now, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Now, let the time of refreshing come over your heart. Let the time of refreshing over your life right now. Let the time of refreshing, hour of refreshing, the time of refreshing, let it refresh you in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Time of refreshing. Bless you, bless you. God bless you. I feel something now. Please, if you're pregnant, come here. If you're pregnant, I want to pray for a pregnant woman. Please come quickly with the pregnant people. Hallelujah. Hey, tell about son If you're pregnant in the house, please come. The Lord is the Lord will do something about it. In the name of Jesus, God is dealing with a seed in the womb. Hallelujah. The seed in the womb. Because they have heard this message. Uh, the seed in the womb have heard the message of God. The seed in the womb. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Listen, the word of God declares that the children of Israelites, they are not like the, 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 the children of Israelites, the, the Egyptians, they are not like the, 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 the Jews' children. Before they read them being wives, they have delivered safely. And the word of God declared in Timothy, he said, in delivering, they shall deliver safely. We are praying that the Lord will preserve the baby in the womb. And the day of delivery, the Lord will give you the right doctor, the right nurse, the right equipment, and the right environment. We pray that day, the Lord will give you contraction. The contraction will take place quickly. Let's begin structuring how we can pray. Father, we are praying for this one. We are soaking the seed in the womb. Every seed in the womb of God. We sow the seed in the precious blood of the Lamb. You will preserve that we come against complication. We come against a serious character. We come against every negativity. In the name of Jesus, Father, bless them with God. Father, bless them. Bless the people in the womb, sir. In the name of Jesus, let them deliver. We pray right doctors of God, the right environment, oh God, bless them oh God, hallelujah, mm. please help them, amen, I won't touch you, I won't touch you, put your hand on your own chair, on your head, amen, put your, yeah, yeah, put your hand on the seat, God bless you, Father Lord, we want to thank you, the seed in the womb have heard the message that I preach today, may they come out as an evangelist, and that Lord, they will spread your word, we are speaking to the womb of the seed of the babies, in the name of Jesus, that the banner of Christ will never suffer lose in their hand, before they come out, they are coming with the gospel, before they come out, they are coming to evangelize, before they come out, they are coming to fulfill their destinies and their purpose on earth. Empower them in their labor pain. Father, see them through coming against complications, coming against a serious car. According to your word in Timothy, in delivery, they will deliver safely. Let them deliver safely. Let them deliver safely. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus, Jesus. Oh, this is Jesus. Put your hands together for them. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Be drunk with the Spirit of God. God bless you. Condemnation. 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 But please, I want to ask you, will you be happy when your child says, I want to do the work of God? Those who have 
have taken you to the universities, you have graduated, and now you say you are going to do the work of God. Don't do that. God bless you. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Do you know how many know that God sometimes speaks to us? Whilst you are talking, He's speaking to you. Please, yes, me We are going to pray. It's a serious time, okay? I want us, I want us to pray for the church. But uh, there's something the Lord is, an assignment the Lord is giving to me to do. Amen. Please, uh, anytime a man of God comes to a place and is ministering, let it be praying for the man of God. And let this be your cry. He said, Lord, whatever I am going through, whatever my family is going through, use the man of God to be a blessing to me. Amen. Amen. I don't know what is happening. Something is happening. There's, it's like in, the, in your family, there is something that you have noticed. You have noticed. And it's not one time. All of a sudden, you don't know what will happen. Somebody will get crazy in the family. It's a happen not one time. Amen. It's like craziness. And I want to tell you, it's a seed. It's a seed that they have sown. And that seed, somebody has done something. That is why that seed is continued. But you coming to standing here, you are breaking, you are breaking that seed. Hallelujah. So if you are here, like please come forward. It's like the family, you don't know. People get crazy. Not one time. Two, three. You see, uh, what is happening in this family? Please quickly come. The Lord wants to do something in your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Maturia Masandaya. Len Telemaku Shendere Mama Hakamundere Akabo Shadaika Mendere Maku Shada Ayanda Ramaku Sundorama Ashinda Ramakaba I Kandora Mama Sandara Hika Ali Ambondoro Makashinda Raba Zundere Kabadosa by the ancient and by the anointing. He told us that wherever you go, you go with us presently, oh God. And you are going to honor your way. Father, I am standing here as your servant. Lord, I am humble. I don't know nothing. I stand here as your mouth. If there's anything that will hinder your glory, Father Lord Jesus, let me be a blessing to your glory. I pray, oh God, as they lift up their hands. Father, you reveal in order to redeem. We are praying, lifting their ancestors. Anyone that have contracted and made that covenant and release that curse over the family. Father, we ask for forgiveness. Father, we ask to pardon. Father, pardon by, pardon by the blood. And Father, we are praying have mercy, Lord. And we are praying by the authority. Every demon that is on assignment on that spirit of madness, the spirit of insanity, the blood of Jesus rebuke you. Every spirit of insanity, the blood of Jesus rebuke you. Speaker, we curse that madness in the line. In 
done. They are coming here to give a testimony to your glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to pray the last prayer before we leave here. Amen. This is how church is all about. Amen. You don't go. You see, when the presence of God is in the place, we love to stay there. Something can take us nine hours. God's time is not our time. Amen. God's time is what? It's not our time. We can stay in His presence. He can keep you for three days. It doesn't matter about your job. All that He matters is that He's doing something on you. Hallelujah. Amen. As we lift up our hands, holding our hands, we want to pray for the body of Christ. That the body of Christ will be awakening. There will be unity in the body of Christ. Whatever is causing the church to what? To find themselves. God deliver the church. Hallelujah. Begin to pray right now. We are praying for the church. My God. Father, we are praying to God for the church. Mighty God, we stand and stand with your servant. We are praying to God, Father, for the church of God. We are coming against God. You say you will build your church. And the gate of hell will never prevail. We are coming against every gate of hell. Against the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every gate of hell. You say the seed of the woman shall possess the gate of the enemy. And you say the seed of the woman shall put the head of the serpent. Therefore, in the name of Jesus. Every power that is sending confusion in the church. Today, by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We ask our daddy to pray for the church. Amen. And for them too. Amen. Our great God of wonders. We want to thank you this afternoon, Lord. For you are sick in faith that we pray for the church, you Lord. We lift the church before you. And we ask that, Lord, let your hand be strong upon the church. Against the enemies of the church. We pray, oh God, just as you had Moses in the time of wilderness. Arise, oh God, and let your enemies be scattered in the church. In the mighty name of Jesus. We break every shackle of the enemy. We drop every effort of the enemy. You know that we say that Lord, you have assured us that you are going to build your church. And that the gates of hell shall not prevail. We are holding on to your word. That Lord, you will bind us with a cord that cannot be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cause us to love ourselves. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.